Hi. I decided to go live really fast. I do have to be offline in about 40 minutes. So um, I just wanted to make a quick video because a lot of people ask me, well, how are you so unbothered? I love how you are so unbothered. How can I not be as emotional? How can I just brush it off? How can I um, control my temper? What if this person makes you mad? And B, B, C, and D, how do I do it? Um, I think it's mainly because I have a focus and a plan. And I know this ain't part of the plan. Okay. So that's why I always tell you guys to create a plan. If it doesn't get you to the end or to the goal, then you don't do it. See? So I don't get bothered by people. A lot of people, you know, who troll me or, or of people that make me mad in real life, I don't get bothered by them because I know my ultimate goal is not, you know, ha don't have anything to do with them. So I'm not wasting my energy or time on them. You know what I'm saying? Um, so what you have to do is find a focus that is bigger than that situation. You know, I don't care enough about this person and how they feel or what they said to give them my attention or energy when I need to be focused on getting what I truly want, which is not, you know, something that is right here. So I just don't care enough. And when you stop caring, it's like a huge weight will just lift off of your chest. Thank you, Raven. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Yep, go with go with the flow. So I think a lot of people are programmed to argue, to prove their point, to be right, to expect more from someone who never told you that they were gonna do anything as far as you know your feelings are concerned. It's just your expectations of people that will never be met and your disappointments and your eagerness to argue and prove your point is not um, beneficial to you. Thank you, Feminine Goddess. Scenarios to get 1K on the second date. I don't know, baby. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, ask for it. If you look good enough, you should get it. Uh, like Pick the right target. You should get it. Her and right. People will always have their opinion. People are dead and still being talked about in a pleasant or unpleasant way. That's true. So no matter what you do, they're still going to think whatever they choose to think about you. You know, whatever you do, even if you prove yourself or your point right, they're still not going to care. So it's a waste of time, energy, and effort. So make sure that you're focused on your goals and not proving something or arguing or making sure your feelings are known. Who cares? Nobody care, nobody care about nobody feelings. I don't. I really don't. Except for my kids. I don't care about anybody's feelings. And the point is because it doesn't benefit me right now. I have a goal. This is what I need to do. I don't have time to care about every single person's feelings in the world. I don't have the time. And neither do you. And the reason why so many people are disappointed is because they think everybody is supposed to have the time. And they don't. And most of them don't even care. So when you are remaining unbothered is because you know that nobody cares. Nobody has the time and you shouldn't expect them to. What you need to care about is yourself and your goals and your plans. And that's how you get what you want. Okay. And people are going to talk about you to the, like, like, like she said, to the day you die, let them talk. You ain't talking about them. Therefore you are more important. So revel in that and keep it moving. I don't know. Um, I don't um, allow people to get to me. I don't take anything personally because I don't know them. And even if I did know them, they don't know me because I'm not revealing 
100% of myself to anybody. So whatever they say, I don't take it personally because I know they don't even know me enough. Um, they think they know me, but that's, that's whatever, you know. So, um, you know, people are going to talk because they don't have any business of their own. So they're going to say things. They're going to try to do things to trigger you just to get the reaction because they don't have anything else going on for themselves. And when you find people like that, you need to, um, you know, let them know that you see them. I know what you're doing. It doesn't work. You're irrelevant. That's it. Thank you, Jazz. Sprinkle, sprinkle. So, you know, once they see that they really could never really get to you, either they go away or they find someone else, you know. You hate having to be fake nice. Um, well, then don't be nice. Right. So, you know, unbothered means you don't care enough about that situation to even be bothered with it. You, you still got your plans. You're going to do what you're going to do anyway. Um, and another thing is you can't save everybody. You can't bring everybody with you, you know. Get to where you need to get first and then worry about, you know, being a good example so that they want to follow you. You don't have to save everybody. They need to save themselves. And if you're a good example of what saving themselves is, then they will follow your footsteps. And that's how you help people by just being the best version of you. Um, right. What if you're in a competitive field? It's, it can get really, Easy to go. I don't compete, baby. I would never sign up to compete. First of all, because I'm not a man. So I wouldn't have to deal with that. But I just, I'm not a, I don't compete. If I, if I have to compete, I'm going to go the total opposite direction. <laughs> okay. They're going to say, oh, well, we need you to create a, a black, background with this type of scene in it or whatever i'm gonna be over here in a green background with a horse and a unicorn that's gonna be me because i don't compete i just do whatever i choose to do and if you like it you like it if you don't oh well thank you 1025 only the older 50s and 60s white men approach me why don't the younger ones approach me just they stare because they ain't got no money baby sprinkle sprinkle 1025 ain't got no money um, so I don't really compete. I just do what I'm going to do. So I couldn't, I could not give you advice on how to compete with people because I won't do it. Um, <laughs> people always call you stuck up. Oh, well, don't take it personally. They don't know you enough. Um, that's how you have to be. You know, they don't know me, you know, they don't know me well enough to call me, uh, stuck up. Maybe I'm just shy. Maybe I just don't like them. Maybe they're stupid and below my intelligence level. I don't know. They don't know. <laughs> so don't take it personally. <laughs> Is it wrong to be conceited? It depends on who thinks you're conceited. You know what I'm saying? It depends on who thinks you're conceited. Are you normal? And is their self-esteem just super low? Is your conceited just having um, self-confidence to them because their self-esteem is extra low? So it, it just depends on their level of thinking about themselves that determines if you are conceited. So it really doesn't matter. You don't have time to sit there and analyze their self-esteem issue. So it doesn't matter. That's how you stay unbothered. You don't care. Um, and you don't have to be this blunt with it. You can just not care inside. Okay. Um. <laughs> Uh, 
how to not how to stop being naive and you don't know what that means learn baby open a book click on some videos learn 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 pay attention that's how you can stop being naive is to learn um how to be unbothered if he tries to convince that I lose the prize you with the wrong man baby you were a feminine man, so switch to a masculine man. Okay. Inform you about news, world orders. What? Okay. Just find some arts and crafts and <laughs> you won't seem lazy. That's true. We'll get you some popsicle sticks and some cotton balls and some glue. Okay. Are you, fly me 120, yes, I'm trans. Is that what you're here for? Yes. Would you like my phone number so you can call me later? Fly me 122, you looking for trans? I'll be your trans dream, baby. Would you like? <laughs> anyway. How to be unbothered in a workplace full of black women. I am the youngest and I'm far by far the prettiest. Da, 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 da. Girl, I wouldn't be working. I wouldn't even be, I wouldn't even have friends. I wouldn't even talk to people. I would be a silent person. I would do my work and get off. Okay. I don't care about people enough to be bothered by them. I would just do my work and leave. And go freestyling and give me a sugar daddy so I don't have to return maybe one day. Okay? I won't be there. I won't be socializing at work because I don't even want to be there first. First of all, I don't even want to be at work. So I'm not going to be happy. So I'm not going to be socializing. I'm going to get in and get out. That's what you need to do. Get in and get out. Have your own focus. Thank you, Jazz. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You met a 55-year-old who owns a law firm. He said he wants to marry me on first date. How to react? I've never had anyone say that. Don't believe it and get your money. He owned a law firm. Ask for whatever you like. You need a new car. Oh, my car broke down. I don't know what to do. Girl, he ain't trying to marry you. He trying to get in, he trying to get in the sack with you. Just get all the money you can. Okay, so, mm -hmm. I'm certain you unbothered all the time because when you show up, everybody is terrified. <laughs> um, where to start? I've been told I'm book smart but not street smart and therefore i come off as naive well then get street smart get in them streets and get smart <laughs> okay get your head out the book watch some tv watch some videos you know talk to people you, you just need more experience that's all go out more I live with my provider and I rarely cook or clean. I feel like I'm being lazy. What should I do? Start your business, baby. Start your business. Start start an Instagram. Start a YouTube channel. Start a scrapbook. Start a something. Fill your time up with something. You know? Write poetry. Read books. Do something that's beneficial to you. What do you think about? Cassie leaving her billionaire Diddy for her sports coach. Diddy wouldn't finna marry her and he wouldn't finna have no kids with her. And that's what she wanted, marriage and children. So she left and got some marriage and some children. Okay. <laughs> that's what that was. People actually ask these stupid questions. <laughs> Y'all are so silly. Um, yeah, I tell you, I got to get off in a little while because I have a consultation anyway how can an empath protect their energy from vampire control it control it just like you protect your skin just like you protect your 
uh, house, just like you protect anything, you lock it up and you, and you don't be bothered. You know, everything is free will. Don't allow people around you that is negative uh, and trying to steal your energy. Don't go around people that are going to drain you with their issues and problems. And just don't care about anything that people are telling you about if you don't want to be drained. It's that simple. Tune out. Put outfits together in your mind. That's all you got to do. It's that easy. Put outfits together in your mind when negative people are talking. Have a have a Pinterest in your mind. What am I going to wear tomorrow? Oh, what were you saying? Mm -hmm. Sure, you know. So unless you are consciously paying attention and allowing someone to negatively drain you of your energy, then it can't be done. Okay? And not if you make it plans in your mind and not even listening to them. <laughs> so work on something for yourself. That way you're unbothered by what everybody else is trying to do because you're too focused on whatever you're trying to do. <laughs> um, yeah. You don't give your attention away. That, ha that has to be paid for. Right? They, somebody got to invest in you to get your attention. You know what I'm saying? If they haven't bought you a drink, a dinner, A, B, C, and D, you're not going to listen to all their problems. You know what I'm saying? If, you know, if they're not compensating you, you're not going to give them the time of day. So I'm not... Let's just say, for example, one of your friends um, is texting you or calling you and telling you about the, you know, Dusty or whatever. And for the fifth time and you didn't see, they didn't broke up three times and they said they were moving on and now they're still back together with the Dusty. You don't have time to listen to that. Put the phone on mute and do what you was doing before she called. You know what I'm saying? And then every once in a while, click and say, uh-huh. And click it back. Uh-huh. I told you. That's all you got to do. You don't even have to listen. You can be doing something. You could be doing your hair. You could be doing your makeup. You could be watching another video on YouTube and just clicking it. Uh-huh. Every now and then. You didn't hear a word she said because it don't matter. She don't listen to you anyway. You're not drained. She's dumping all this stuff on her because everybody else tired of hearing about it. And you still good because you're still moving forward with your plans as, you know, as scheduled. So that's how you don't be bothered. <clears throat> then you click off until your battery went out. And that's it. Then you're done. <laughs> um. So unbothered, unbothered by what men think about you. If they don't have enough money to be uh, having a, an opinion about you if they're not giving you that money anyway, you know, and even if they are, it still doesn't matter because the only thing that matters is what you think about you until you think differently. Now, can, can their input help you improve? Maybe, but do you have to accept it? No, it's your free will and it's your choice. So. Stay unbothered as much as possible, and you'll probably have less stress, less signs of aging, easier life, happier life, and you'll be good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Your provider husband cheating, I told him. Our marriage is open now. Should I really go cheat or just act like it? <laughs> this is my thing. If he's providing for you and you told him you have an open marriage, whoever you go cheat with needs to be able to replace him and have money to also provide for you. Otherwise, you being dumb. Okay. You can cheat if you want to, but 
you know, if you get caught, then what? So. Time to get another one that has more money. That can do the same thing. See, men cheat lower. Women are supposed to cheat higher. You're supposed to cheat with someone that has more, not less. Okay? <laughs> so, if your husband did that, you need to outdo your husband, baby. Because that would hurt him more if he found out. And you could just move on in a smooth transition. On to the next. Okay. What made you start the channel and give advice to women? People kept asking me, what would you do? What do you do? I had, I had, I was a more spiritual channel. This, this channel originally started out more spiritual. And then people started asking me questions about the dusties. And is that a soulmate? Are we meant to be? No, fool. And so I, I, people kept, uh, and they wanted spiritual advice on how to deal with a dusty. I'm like, it's going to take more than that. It's going to take some real work. <laughs> so I started these videos because people were like looking at the wrong direction. Mm -hmm. How to get an older man to propose? He needs to be at the right age to be able to... Um, to feel like he wants to marry. Mm -hmm. Anywhere before, you know, 55 and up is probably ready for marriage. Um, the last go round, you've probably been married before. They're ready to, you know, pull in the reins and settle down. Okay. Women make their whole lives revolving around men. It is other way around. It is the other way around. Um, no, not men, but their money. Mm -hmm. Real talk listen says marriage is dead. <laughs> yeah, because there's no providers and protectors anymore. So why should a woman marry somebody that's not going to play their role. I don't know. It's not dead. It's just dead amongst the youth. Older people have no issue with it. Thank you, Cece. Thank you for teaching me how to have high esteem in everything you are doing for us women. Completely changed how I view myself in relationships. Thank you, Cece. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, Marriage is dead because real men don't exist under the age of, what, 50-something. <laughs> so, um, sorry. You don't usually care what... Shua, I didn't used to care what people think of me until they started making fun of me. Now they have me thinking there's something wrong with me. I feel confused. How can I get back my spirit? Make fun of them back, girl. If they can find something to make fun of you about, then you sure can find something to make fun of them about. Okay? Like, people can make, people can choose anybody. They can be perfect, and you can find something to make fun of some, someone about. Okay? Doesn't mean anything is wrong with you. It just means that you care about what they think. And they're making fun of you because it triggers you. If it didn't trigger you and you started making fun of them right back, they would stop by now. You know? So. Um, start making fun of people back that make fun of you. I bet you they'll quit then because they'll start looking at themselves. What? <laughs> um. What to do when the guy gets jealous on the regular for no reason? Um, Unless he has a lot of money, I'm not going to be with somebody stupid like that. I'm sorry. 
<laughs> it means he's insecure is what it means. Thank you, Naomi Sprinkle Sprinkle. Cheating provider husband says he doesn't want to open our marriage. Should I close it to get him to stop? Girl, he ain't going to stop. Sprinkle Sprinkle. What you need to do is spend his money, baby. Every time he don't text you back or call you or come home on time, spend a certain amount of money. Okay. Get his credit card number while he sleep. And every time he you think he cheating, go go shopping, baby. Okay. Have a have a relationship with his money. Cheat on him with his own money. And, and uh have a good old time. Because he's not he's not gonna stop. Just go have a good old time with his money. When when he starts realizing that you're shopping more and his bank account is a little slim and you know, he he don't got enough to do what he's trying to do on the side anymore because you use it all, then he, he going to pull it in. So, I, I mean, book yourself a vacation. Use his credit card. Book yourself a vacation. Go out of town on the weekend. Tell him he could cheat all he like. You'll be in the Bahamas. Have a good day. Okay. Or I'll, I'll be here. I'll be there. Have a good time. Tell whoever she is. I said, hey. You know, don't base your self-worth on trying to control a cheating man. Enjoy your life. Use all the assets that are available to you via that man. And, and go ahead and enjoy your life, baby. All right. All right. <laughs> Ah, said transfer money to your account. That's right. Get that money. But what about STDs? You ain't going to be sleeping with them no more unless you're stupid. So what about them? Hope he don't, I hope he uh, protected and, and, and go to the doctor because uh, if I think you cheating, I'm not sleeping with you no more. Okay. So you hate men? I don't hate men at all. Okay, why would I hate men when I'm totally provided for by men? I don't hate men. I just love myself more. You see, just because you love yourself more doesn't mean you hate someone else. It means your focus is not on them, but on you. And that's where it should stay. So, it's not hate, it's just Self-focus. Okay. They can do what they want to do. Hate would be destroying the entire house, slashing the tires when you get home, and acting a stupid fool. And I hate you. You cheated on me. You ruined my life. A, B, C, D. That's hate. All men are trash. Self-love is taking that credit card number, booking you a nice trip, going shopping, taking care of yourself, going to get uh, facials, going to the spa while he's doing whatever he's doing, and living your best life on his dime, and never thinking another thought about it because you're not sleeping with him anyway. Not anymore. So, you know, somebody else doing a dirty work and you just getting all the benefits now. That's how I would feel because I have self-love. I don't care what he's doing. I'm still good, you see? And that is the difference between being bothered and being unbothered. Okay? Awesome. Think about it like that. You have everything you need. Enjoy it. <sighs> okay. You wish you were as unbothered as me? Just stop caring, you will be. Men push buttons on purpose to control emotions. Yeah, but you should be able to see that a mile away if you watch this channel. Act like you don't hear them. Act like, like you don't hear them. 
He says something, it's like, oh, that's nice. Even if it's negative, he says, oh, you different. Oh, that's that's funny. That's nice. Be preoccupied. That's nice. Uh huh. You can't hear them. You can't hear them. They can't push your button. Well, that's why you do this, this, and that. I say, okay. If that's what makes you sleep well at night, then so be it. Don't care. <laughs> you know, if they're trying to get a reaction out of you and you don't give them a reaction, then you're unbothered. Right? Um, how do I use being a virgin to my advantage with a sugar daddy? Well, I really wouldn't tell him. <laughs> I really wouldn't tell anybody. Um, because he's going to grow bored of you quick and not going to invest in you because he doesn't think he's going to be able to easily get it and he's going to move on to someone who is not. You know. Um, but men like virgins. They sure do, but they're not trying to waste time and money on them unless they're guaranteed to get something. You know, eventually. So, depending on the patience of that man, and if he, you know, you're going to give it to him. And if you do date him, would you mind if he went and slept with another woman because you're not doing it? And if you tell him, he's going to want it more. So, why would you tell him? You tell him when it comes to the moment where you eventually may want to sleep with him and then you can buy yourself a whole nother year girl and more gifts if you really want house car money in your bank account but you don't tell them right away you wait a long time then you tell them okay wait till he's already hooked and you know wrapped up in you and then you tell him that's gonna make him even more crazy about you but don't tell him right away. Okay. What advice do you have for a European woman trying to find a rich American husband? I'm leveled up and my English is fluent. And five other languages. I just want to leave my 50-50 country. Find you the ugliest thing that's old and start emailing them, child. Text messaging and DMing them. Hey, big daddy. <laughs> okay, find you somebody unattractive. And talk to them in that accent, whichever accent you have, and tell them, you are so handsome. I want to come to visit you. You know. Go ahead. American men are easy. <laughs> okay. How do you how do I break up with my dusty boyfriend? All my friends and their boyfriends like him, and I don't want there to be bad blood girl. Lie, tell him he cheated. Then they won't like him. Then you can break up with him. Okay, there you go. I think he's cheating on me, and I can't, I can't stay here. Lying is the only option. I really wouldn't care. Like, see, I don't care what people think. I, if I don't want to be with you, I'm breaking up. I don't care what my friends think. There ain't gonna be no type of bad blood because I don't care. You know, you gotta, you just gotta be like that. You know. If I if I decide to break up with somebody and I have to worry about this person and that person and that person, then that's too much. This is my life. Okay, I'm gonna break up with who I want to break up with, and if y'all don't like it, bye. That's just how it has to be. Because I'm not a people pleaser. I I live for myself, not others. And that's how you have to be to be unbothered. Be unbothered always, and you'll have your best life. Um, how soon is too soon to ask for money? 
girl, if you like it, you're going to get it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all picking the wrong targets if y'all have to keep asking me how soon is too soon to ask me. He should already been giving you money. It's the third date. Otherwise, he's not sugar daddy. Get, you know, you need to just say some stuff and sound like you need something. And if he doesn't offer you, he's not trying to give you any money. Okay. Um, do I suggest having a mentor when leveling up? I suggest having an inspiration or a muse, which means, you know, someone that you admire, uh, their looks, their characteristics, you know, whatever, whatever. And, you know, kind of use that while you level up. But I don't think you need a person, per se. I don't, need, I don't think you need a person. You have to be self-motivated. Mm -hmm. Okay. What if you're the other woman? How do you deal with wife gone, with the wife gone crazy? You're going crazy. Get another one, girl. You're supposed to have two of you, the other one. With the wife gone crazy, like the wife is going crazy on you. You know, I gotta be specific. So the wife is crazy in contacting you. Is that what you're saying? Um, Y'all know me. I'd sit there and talk. Hey, how you doing? Don't let a wife call me. Um. Okay. She's gone crazy on you, the other woman. Thank you, Moo Moo. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Beautiful queen sending a lot of love. Thank you, girl. I would sit there and talk to her. It's like, hello. Can I help you? Yes, I'm the other woman and I mean that would be my conversation with talk to your husband, not me, baby. If it ain't if it wasn't me, it'll be somebody else. That's all I'll, I'll just tell her. If it wasn't me, it'll be somebody else. What can I do for you? <laughs> um <laughs> But he's so worth it. He's an attorney. Okay. What did you get from your husband in the very beginning stages, like date one or two? Money, food, gifts, drinks. Um, buddy. <laughs> Envelopes of money slid in my purse. You know, it's just... I, they just have to like you a lot more. I don't know. It's just some. They just gotta like you a lot. Has to be on that level. I don't know. Um, I know I got a, a cashmere sweater because I took him to the mall, a restaurant in the mall. I suggested so we could go shopping at the Galleria. Um. I was slick with it. Oh, what well, do you want to go eat this place? It's in the mall. Okay. Oh, there's about a 45 minute wait. Okay, let's go walk around. You gotta set them up, girl. You gotta set them up. Can we stay on topic today? I don't really want to be unbothered. Yes, yes, yes. Yep, just don't care enough, you know. Only value your opinion about yourself and never take anything personally and ignore people that you know are coming with you, coming to you with negativity and just say, uh-huh, okay, every now and then to make it seem like you're listening, okay? Because I think so many people take things personally that they forget no one cares enough about you to make things personal. 
so many people have this problem and it just get on my nerves. So many people think you're talking about them or you're looking at them. It's not that you not that important. First of all, I don't even know. I don't even see you. You know, I didn't even look at you. I just respond, you know, not me in particular, but a lot of a lot of ladies take everything too personally. Stop doing that. Okay, stop doing it. You're not that important to anybody. So when you take something personally, you'll know when it's personal. You'll know when it's personal because it will be intentionally geared towards you. Your name will be said, fingers will be pointed, and they will say, this is personal. If that doesn't happen, then anything that occurs may not be personal. So stop taking everything personal because if you do, you're always going to be bothered. Right. You're always going to be bothered. Even if it's not even geared towards you, but geared towards someone that you feel is similar to you, you are looking to be bothered. You know, a lot of women look for things to be bothered about. Well, they're just being mean to me. They're not you know, they don't do this or, you know, um, they talk about this and they talk about women who do this and that. And that sounds like me. They don't care. Why do you? So stop lumping yourself in to groups that people are talking about, thinking they're talking about you. Stop looking for people to offend you and stop doing any of that if you want to remain unbothered. Because if you look for it, you will find it. Okay. For me, I don't look for it, so I don't care. And I'm going to find what I was looking for before I was distracted, you know? So just stop looking for stuff to be upset about, to be offended about, to be bothered about. Stop looking for it. Look for something to get paid. Look look some way to be paid. <laughs> okay? If you focused on how to get paid versus who's offending you and who's, talking trash about you and who's doing this about you, you be paid. Okay? Stop focusing on the people that don't matter. Focus on your money. Focus on your, um, you know, goal. Focus on your level up. Uh, stay unbothered and stay striving and moving forward. Because I don't, I could care less. I don't... You won't remember their name tomorrow. Thank you, little bliss, sprinkle, sprinkle. You know, so thanks, girl. So stay, stay unbothered and keep it moving. <laughs> when you do that, you're free. But I got to go because I have a consultation. And I told y'all this was going to be super long. So thank y'all for tuning in. I appreciate it. And remember, stay unbothered. You know, 2020, stay unbothered. Let the little things go. Focus on the big things, okay? You're going to get distracted by the little things, and the big things are going to slip away. All right? I'll see y'all later. Bye.